Hi there, today I wanted to sit down and talk about hair toppers density and show you the difference between low density and high density hair toppers. Before we begin, there is really not right or wrong way here basically whatever hair topper and density you choose is going to be based on your preference some of us like the natural look which means we choose low density hair toppers just to add a little bit more volume into our hair and some of us like to have a lot more volume and more more glamorous look on every single day so whatever you like that is going to determine what density and what hair topper you would want to choose. The average healthy human hair is considered to have the density from 100 to 120 percent. So if you want a natural looking hair topper, then you would go with that type of a density. But if you want that a little bit more volume in your hair and you want that glamorous looking hair, then you would want to choose anything that it's over 120% in density. Tresmerize hair toppers, for example, our conceal top is considered a low density hair topper with 120%. This hair topper has a very natural part. When you put it on, it is looks very natural. And this is the hair topper that I currently have on. And then we had a divine top, which is a high to medium density. This hair topper is 160% in density as you can see it has it is a lot thicker than the uh, concealed top however the part looks uh, natural here because this is the hair topper that i have bleached knots into and i've even after the bleaching the knots i have colored my roots again and the knots still stayed uh, bleached which is a great way to have a natural looking hair topper so now as you can see i have a concealed top on and i'm going to take the concealed top off and i'm going to um, install the divine top in just to show you the difference between these two hair toppers Now, when it comes to choosing the density of your hair topper, if you go with a medium to high density hair topper, you have to know that your parting is going to be a lot dense and not as natural looking. If you do want to learn on how to make your hair topper look natural and less wiggy, I do have a video that I've recently posted on, and there are some great tips on there on how to make your hair topper look natural. So if you want to check out that video, I'm going to link it down below and also in the corner up here now you may think that the low density hair topper is not going to provide as much coverage for you based on how much of hair loss or thinning you have if you have thinning for example and hair loss in the back of your head then what you can do is you can choose a hair topper that has a bigger base but still comes with 100 to 120 percent density which in the end is going to look um, a lot more natural and it's going to give you that natural part that is the difference between low density and high density hair topper now again as i said in the beginning it is your own preference on what you prefer if you prefer a natural looking part and a topper that adds just a little bit of a volume to you then the low density hair topper would be a perfect solution for you if you want that glamorous volume like a red carpet type of look on every single day, then I would suggest you choose a medium to high density hair topper for you. And if you would like to learn more about hair toppers and how to style them, then I'd recommend you check out some of these videos right here.